We are going to learn about the wonderful world of bats. We are bats are mammals. That means that they have fur, they are warm blooded, they give live birth to their babies, and their babies drink milk. Bats are in the scientific order called Chiroptera, which is Greek that means hand wing. We are going This is the skeleton of a bat. Notice that the bones that form their wings are the same bones that make your fingers. We are going This shows the skeletal structure of humans, dinosaurs, birds, and bats. Notice in humans we have two sets of arm bones before we get to our fingers. If you'll notice that both the dinosaurs and the birds have the same similar bones and the finger structure is very small. And then when we get to the bat, you can see how those finger bones compose his wing. We are going Bat's wings are transparent. And so it's easy in the right lighting to see those hand bones. We are going to learn Bats navigate by echolocation. It not only helps them find their prey to be able to eat, but it also helps keep them from running into buildings and other structures. We bats drink by flying along the water with their tongue out. I've actually seen a bat do that. We are going Some bats hibernate for the winter. That means that they find a safe place and sleep through the winter. Other bats migrate and leave to go to places where the insects are still available and they stay awake all through the year. We are going to learn around the world there are 1,200 species of bats. 47 of them live in the United States. We are going the smallest bat is the kitty's hog-nosed bat. It is also called a bumblebee bat. This picture shows how very small it is. We the largest bat is the flying fox bat. The largest wingspan is up to seven feet. It's found in Cambodia and Indonesia across the sea. We are going This is a picture of the face of the flying fox bat. It really does look a little bit like a fox. We are going Most bats eat insects. However, some of them eat fruits and others of them eat fish or small frogs. There are three species that actually drink blood. We are here is a bat from Africa that is a fruit eating bat. We are here is a fringe lip bat going after a small frog. We are going the fish eating myotis has especially adapted feet that allow it to grab a fish right out of the water. We are many desert plants depend upon bats like the lesser long nosed bat that come in to eat fruit and nectar from night blooming cactus. We are going to learn there are no vampire bats living in the United States. Most vampire bats feed primarily on livestock. This is an example of a vampire bat feeding on a chicken leg. They take a small little bite and lap the blood and then they're done and the animal never knows it happened. We are going the bat that we see most frequently in the Georgetown Round Rock Austin area is the Mexican free-tailed bat. It got its name because of the tail that you can see in this picture. We are going to the Mexican free-tailed bat spends its summers in the United States. It goes down to Mexico and Central America and South America when we have winter. We are the McNeil Bridge in Round Rock is an excellent place to go and see the bats fly out during the summer months. At, when they start flying out, they fly out by the thousands. We are, this is what it looks like inside a bat colony in a cave. These are bat pups waiting for their mothers to come back from feeding. The mother bat bonds with her baby right after it is born, and she can find her bat pup by its smell and by its sound, even though there may be a million other bat pups in the cave. We this is a close-up picture of a bat pup. You'll notice that it hasn't grown its fur yet, but see how it hangs from the cave wall. 
young bats need to learn how to fly and sometimes they end up on the ground. They will use their wings as feet to maneuver to where they can climb up to something so they can fly. Here is a bat pup climbing the wall so it can reach the right height to be able to fly off. Bats cannot fly from the ground. However, if you find a bat on the ground or on a wall, please do not touch the bat because bats can be carriers of rabies and you really do not want to accidentally be bitten by a bat. We are going Sometime you might find a bat in your school, a bat in your house, or a bat in your store. Please don't panic. Bats are usually shy and gentle animals and you cannot get rabies just by seeing a bat or being in a room or a hallway with one. However, you should never touch a bat or any other wild animal. You need to tell your parent, tell the teacher, or tell an employee of the store immediately so they can do something about the bat. A bat that is being handled might bite in self-defense. Any bat that you can approach, one that cannot fly or is on the floor or clinging to a wall, is more likely to be sick or injured and it might have rabies. Don't touch any wild animals. We are going to learn. If you do see a bat in your school, don't approach it or touch it. Don't pet it, catch it, comfort it, kick it, or even try to shoot it away. Stay away from it and call an adult. If you are bitten or come in contact with a bat, don't wait. Don't worry about being in trouble. Tell a grown-up immediately and get medical attention. The doctor's treatment after a bite from a bat or another wild animal is simple and effective. <laughs>